There are a ton of weight loss calculators out there. If you go to Google right now, I guarantee you're going to find at least a thousand of them. But are they useful? Should you use them? And if not, what should you do instead? What's good, Simple Achievers? Steve Hicks here, online coach for Simple Success Fitness. And today, I want to talk about all of those online weight loss calculators. This last week, I had this weird thing happen where three different clients asked me the same exact question verbatim. They asked me, Stephen, how long is it going to take me to lose another 15 pounds? Now, I don't know if there was something on TV that made 15 pounds the magic number everyone wants this week, but I got asked that same question by three different people. And honestly, I gave them different answers. I didn't give them different answers because I don't know or that I'm pulling random stuff out my bum. But the reality is there are some variables that the online weight loss calculators, they're not going to be able to put in because the online weight loss calculators, they have some fundamental problems and one drastically dangerous problem I want you to stay away from. The first major problem that they have is that they assume weight loss is linear. They say that you're going to lose one to two pounds each week, every week, week over week. And that's just not true. That's not going to happen. In my decade long experience of helping people lose weight, I've never seen someone lose the same weight week over week over week in a very linear fashion. What ends up happening is that people will lose weight, they'll maintain, they'll lose weight, they'll gain a little bit of weight, they'll lose weight, and then they'll maintain. And it's just, it's, it's almost random and chaotic and sporadic. Unless you're in like a metabolic ward where we're doing really strict laboratory settings on you. But other than that extreme situation, your weight loss is going to fluctuate and it's not going to be linear. The second major problem that we have with, with weight loss calculators, and this is true for the fitness industry as a whole, is we generally have a poor understanding of what healthy weight loss looks like. If you saw my if you saw my uh, my video about the the lack of a reunion episode for the Biggest Loser, you already know that weight that comes off quickly it bounces back. It's not sustainable, and it's it's probably not healthy. Especially when we go really drastic, it's not going to be healthy for your heart. Shows like The Biggest Loser, show, shows that we see on TV. Things that we see on the cover of tabloid magazines uh, at the grocery store saying lose 10 pounds in 10 days or lose 30 pounds in a, in a month or all the, all the commercials for the, the diet pills and the weight loss supplements. They've given us this really skewed understanding of what healthy weight loss looks like and it's told us that we should and could do more than we really can. That number of what sustainable weight loss is, is actually a lot smaller than what, what the calculators are going to spit out for you. And that's fine, because unless you're doing this for a very specific event, I'm sure you'd rather lose 10 pounds and keep it off for the next 10 years, rather than lose 20 pounds and put on 30 pounds afterwards. The third major problem is that the calculators can't make any individual variation or accommodate individual biologies. Now with my three clients, I gave them three different answers because I know who they are and I know different backgrounds about them. One of my clients brand new to me. I honestly don't know how they're going to respond to exercise. I know how the average person responds, but I haven't yet seen how their biology responds to my recommendations. And so truthfully, I couldn't give an honest answer except for an excessively long one. The second person has been working with me for a long time. I know how her body responds and she tends to be one of those people that will maintain for two to three months and then having an explosion of results in one month and then maintaining that for two to three and then another explosion all at once. I know how her body responds and I could use that and use the tweaks that we were going to do and put her on a more reasonable time scale. My third client that came to me just got done with a virtual challenge and a fitness challenge and on this weight loss challenge, she was really restricted. I think she was eating like four or five different foods throughout the, throughout the week. She was 
pretty much completely abstinent from carbohydrates. She had virtually no sodium in her diet. And these things expelled a lot of water weight. As we transition and as we open up what she's, what is okay for her to eat, which by the way, is a lot of things. If you haven't read it already, check the description down below for my blog post about are the foods you're eating good for you or bad for you to get answers about what good foods and bad foods are. Anyway, back to my client, as we open up, I know that as she gets more carbohydrates and as she gets more sodium, she's going to get an immediate short-term influx of water retention. She's gonna put on water weight. And honestly, look, you and I know water is not unhealthy. We don't want to expel all the water. We're not going to be upset that she has more water in her body. Hydration lets the body run in an optimal fashion and we're going to be okay with that. But knowing that that background, knowing that background, knowing that physiological change is about to happen, I was able to adjust the time window a little bit more appropriately, knowing how she was gonna respond. The fourth major problem, and it's not inherent in the weight loss calculators, but it is a byproduct of the weight loss calculators themselves, Weight loss calculators can be psychologically damaging. When they tell us that we're gonna have linear weight loss, and we've already addressed this, it's not going to happen. What the weight loss calculators are telling you are not going to be the reality you experience. When your reality conflicts with the expectations, you're going to get down on yourself. You're gonna think that you're failing. You're going to think that maybe there's something fundamentally wrong with you. And maybe these feelings will make you lash out with negative healthy health habits. Maybe you'll skip a workout. Maybe you'll eat an extra pint of Ben and Jerry's to make yourself feel better. And then when you start to do these negative outcomes, you end up coming back to terms and then you're punishing yourself for be having moments of weakness. You punish yourself and it snowballs and then you feel really crummy and then you don't do any of the healthy habits. And this is a down, this is a downward spiral. This is a snowball effect that all comes from first using this online weight loss calculator. Online weight loss calculators when used and not realized can be psychologically damaging to people. And I don't want you to go through that. So if I don't want you to do a weight loss calculator, what do I want you to do? Well, with my simple achievers, with my clients that I coach online, what I have them do is I have them measure their waist circumference measure. Your waist is gonna be a more true representation of what your health outcome is and what your results are speaking. Your waist is not easily fluctuating. It's pretty constant, pretty static. So when we see a change in your waistline, the reality is there's a change inside your body. When there's a change on your scale, that just might be a change in your hydration state. That might be a change in how much sodium you ate last week. That might be a slight change that maybe you had a couple extra carbohydrates. It's not going to be an actual measure of your fat loss. But your waist measurement is pretty static, pretty constant, and it's very true to what your results are. For men, I would think for, <coughs> sorry about that. For men, for the lowest health risk, what you wanna do is you wanna have a waist that's below 40 inches. And then for optimum health, for optimum health and performance, you want a waist measure that's below 35 inches. For women, that's gonna be a little bit lower. For your lowest health risk, you wanna be below 35 inches. And then for optimum health and performance, you probably want to be in that 30 to 35 range. Now, these two numbers are going to be adjusted and, and uh, affected by your height. So someone that's especially tall will have naturally a larger waist and should adjust the numbers accordingly. Someone that is especially not tall uh, will have a smaller waist and should adjust that number accordingly. Now, what should you expect on this? In my experience, I found that the waist circumference loss is a lot more consistent and tends to average about one inch per month when measured. And I measure clients or have clients measure themselves at the start of each month just to be kind of consistent there on that time period. But it is usually about one inch a month. If you're further away from those, from those healthy waist measures, 
if you're like as a male if you're at a 54 inch waist as opposed to that 40 inch waist you're probably going to lose a little bit quicker i've had clients lose up to two and a half inches a month um, for a couple months as they got closer that slows down really quickly if you're at that 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 healthy range if you're in that 40 and you're trying to get to the optimum range then it's going to be slower it's going to be in that half inch to quarter inch range and same thing for women if you're far away from that 35 your changes might be a little bit more sudden if you're getting close to the the healthy range or close to the optimum range do expect that to slow down drastically downwards to a quarter or an eighth of an inch awesome guys so this is these are healthier more sustainable and more true measures that you can use to estimate what your journey should be and to measure your progress more so than the weight loss calculators if you see friends or family trying to use an online weight loss calculator maybe it's through my fitness pal maybe it's through something they found on google let them know that that's just setting them up for 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 potential disturbances to the realities and that there's some fundamental problems that they need to avoid share this video with them so that they can find a good healthy alternative and if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to the channel down below so that we can together live a healthier happier life